What is good ladies and gentlemen, back again, AJ47, Soul Mavericks Crew, London, England. Today's tutorial is going to be about mobility. In the aspect of fitness within breaking, we associate speed, strength, stamina, endurance and flexibility as the most common terms. But there is an important component to breaking and fitness in general, which isn't openly discussed as much. It's called mobility. Not to be confused with flexibility, they are in fact two different systems, which we'll get into in a minute. There is a general underemphasis of its importance, b-boys far too often drop it down on their priority list. But mobility is an indication on how well and efficiently we move and can even help us ward off injuries. Mobility is often confused with flexibility and while they are certainly connected, they are not synonymous. So what's the difference between mobility and flexibility? Basically, the two words don't mean the same thing. Here's a quick definition of the two. Flexibility, the ability to lengthen a muscle or a group of muscles through a range of motion. Mobility, the ability to move a joint freely throughout its full range of motion. This encompasses the muscle length, flexibility the muscle tension, the joint capsule and ligaments as well as the central nervous system. Here's another way to look at it. A dancer with great mobility is able to perform functional movement patterns with no restrictions in the range of motion of those movements. Whereas a flexible dancer may or may not have the core strength, balance or coordination to perform the same functional movements as a person or dancer with great mobility. In my early days as a dancer, I stretched a lot, became really flexible, but I didn't condition or maintain the strength. So when it came down to it, I didn't have the strength necessary in certain ranges of motion, basically a lack of mobility. So here's my top four reasons why you should include mobility drills into your training. Number one, get more from your training. Increased mobility will mean that your muscles and joints will be better balanced and aligned, as well as your posture and form for breaking, your range of motion obviously will be hugely increased. The central nervous system is extremely receptive to mobility training as it keeps the nervous system active. Nerves will fire up more muscle fibers and more rapidly with continued mobility drills. Mobility training undoubtedly helps build speed, power and endurance. How is that not great for breaking? Exactly. Number two, improved flexibility. As previously mentioned, Flexibility and mobility are not one and the same, yet they go hand in hand with one another. So how does flexibility come into play? You may have the length of the muscles, for example, flexible hamstrings, but you lack the mobilization in the joints where the muscles cross. This lack of mobility and stabilization tends to lead to a mildly sedentary, inactive nervous system. Therefore, the central nervous system will create stiffness as it feels threatened by a large range of motion that will cause damage such as dislocation. The reason you may be feeling quite stiff when you do your pretzels or your flare, for example, may be due to the fact that you lack mobility rather than lack flexibility. What I noticed at public training spaces is many people come in, they put their bag down, they sit down on the floor and they spread their legs doing static stretching. But you can get more out of your training, fire up the nervous system by doing dynamic stretches and mobility drills. Yeah, this way we'll have a lot easier time doing the split and scissored forms that we come across a lot in breaking. More mobility equals greater flexibility and more fluid movements. Number three, injury prevention. This reason is probably the most important. With full joint mobility and a completely active central nervous system, chances of injury are supremely minimized. Injuries occur when a person creates a movement outside of normal alignment or muscle balance. This is usually due to a lack of mobility. I don't know about you, maybe I'm speaking for myself here, but how many times have you gone to training, not done a proper warm up and got yourself injured? That's been me many times more than I care to remember. Increasing mobility will take the stress off tendons and ligaments, thus preventing injury. Good stuff. And as my crew member, good friend, Dr. Gab said, prevention is better than any cure. Number four, mobility training is anti-aging. As we age, we lose mobility and our neuromuscular pathways begin to weaken. This can be rather annoying for older dancers. Our bodies become all round, less efficient, mal-coordinated and stiff. Mobility drills will keep your central nervous system working at its optimum, ensuring muscle fibers are fired up and working appropriately. Motor skills are kept working efficiently and your joints are kept lubricated and aligned. You ain't done until you say you're done. So that was my top four reasons why you should include mobility drills into your normal practice sessions. So we've got all this information, how do we apply it? When we start mobilizing our body, start from the neck, working our way down to the shoulders, elbows, wrists, take your time on your fingers, especially your wrists, lower back, hips, knees, don't forget the knees, ankles. In closing, I recommend stretching, strengthening and foam rolling. <laughs> I tend to foam roll all the time when my muscles are really sore. Uh, you can also get a cricket ball if you're American, you can use a baseball, I guess, for the really, really hard, uh, hard to reach places. So yeah, if you want to get this, I will put this in the link in the description below. I will try to find a cheaper version and I'll also attach this exact same one that I paid for, which is a bit about around 14 pounds. 
if you do want to purchase something like this it does support the channel but it costs you no extra so feel free to click the link and check those out thanks again for watching ladies and gentlemen i hope you found this information helpful if you like the video do give me a thumbs up it does help out the channel a lot subscribe to the channel if you are new don't forget to check out the awesome videos and leave me a comment most importantly let me know if there's any other videos that i can make for you guys or any questions you have around mobility or stretching i'm going to catch you guys soon thanks again